Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and today we're going to talk about uh, the molar volume of a gas at STP. Let's suppose I have three gases. One of those gases is carbon dioxide gas in the balloon you see. Uh, one of those gases is nitrogen gas in this cube right here. And one of the gases is oxygen gas that fills up this, this beach ball here. Furthermore, each one of these gases is at a temperature of 273K and a pressure of one atmosphere. So that is to say that each one of these gases is at STP, standard temperature and pressure. And we've got one mole of each gas in each one of these containers here. If I were to ask you what the volume of the gas uh, is in this balloon, in this cube, and in this beach ball here, how would we figure that out? Well, one way that we can figure this out would be to use the equation PV equals NRT and we can solve for V plugging in the values of P, one atmosphere, T, 273K, and N, one mole. And we can do the mathematical calculations. Or you can just simply remember that one mole of gas at STP always occupies 22.4 liters. All right, so one mole of gas at STP will always occupy 22.4 liters of space. So if we take a look here, each one of these conditions meets standard temperature and pressure. We've got one atmosphere of pressure, we've got a temperature of 273K, and we have one mole of this gas. So how much space should this gas occupy or fill up in this balloon here? Well, according to the molar volume of a gas at STP, it should take up 22.4 liters. Okay, same with this right here. If I've got one mole of a gas at STP, that is one atmosphere and 273K, then uh, the volume of this gas in this cube here will be 22.4 liters. All right, if I've got one mole of oxygen gas at one atmosphere of pressure and 273K, then it too will occupy 22.4 liters. So it doesn't matter what gas it is, as long as that gas behaves ideally, then that gas, if you have one mole of it, will occupy 22.4 liters of space at STP. So let's take a look at a couple of example problems. In this problem here, it says, how much space will two moles of oxygen gas at STP occupy? <clears throat> okay, so let's take a look at this problem here. We know that one mole of gas at STP takes up 22.4 liters of space. So this here is my equivalence or an equivalent statement. Or what I can say is that 22.4 liters of gas uh, at STP for every one mole. All right, so we have two different equivalent statements here that we're gonna use one of them to solve this little problem. Let's take a look. In this problem, we've got two moles of gas, in this case, oxygen gas. We wanna know how much space will this two moles of gas occupy at STP? So. We need to take this two moles here and we need to multiply it by one of these two equivalent statements. So which one are you gonna use? Well, if you take a look, we wanna cancel out moles of O2. So we're gonna put that at the bottom of this equivalent statement right here. And we are trying to find the amount of space or the, the amount of liters that this gas will take up. So if you take a look, which one of these two equivalent statements does it look like you're gonna use? Well, it looks like you're going to use this one right here, right? You're going to use this one right here. You know that there are 22.4 liters of gas at STP for every one mole. So now we just simply take our calculator out, and we take 2 times 22.4, and we should end up with 44.8 liters. Mole of O2 on bottom and mole of O2 on top will cancel out. So if you've got two moles of, of, uh, of gas at STP, then it should occupy 44.8 liters of space. And this makes sense. If one mole occupies 22.4 liters, then if we double that, uh, then two moles should occupy 44.8 liters. Let's take a look at another example here. In this example here, it says, how much space will 0.5 moles of CO2 gas occupy at STP? So if we think about it here, we have half a mole. We have half a mole of gas at STP. We know that one mole of gas, 
will occupy 22.4 liters of space at STP. So if I've got 0 0.5 moles, then I should end up with half of this value right here and 11.2 liters. But let's take a look at how we do the math. If I've got 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide gas, you know that one mole of carbon dioxide gas occupies 22.4 liters. So when we put this in our calculator, I'll put the answer down here, we will end up with 11.2 liters. Alright, so half a mole is going to occupy 11.2 liters. Let's take a look at another problem here. In this problem here, we want to know how much space uh, 0.235 moles of nitrogen gas will occupy at STP. So in this problem, we've got 0 0.235 moles of gas, in this case nitrogen gas, and we want to know how much space this is going to occupy at STP. Well, we know one mole of nitrogen gas at STP is going to occupy 22.4 liters of space. So we get our calculator out, and we take 22.4 times 0.235, and we should end up with 5.264, or simply 5.26 if we're using the correct number of sig figs here. 5.26 liters as moles of N2 cancels and moles of N2 cancels. Let's take a look at this next problem here. If a sample of nitrogen gas occupies 50 liters at STP, then how many moles of nitrogen are there? So in this problem, we're trying to find the number of moles now if we know how much space the gas is occupying. So in this problem here, let's take a look. We've got 50 liters this is all happening at STP so we got 50 liters of uh, nitrogen gas it looks like and we want to know the number of moles of nitrogen gas that there are so in this problem we want to cancel out liters of nitrogen gas and we want to find moles of nitrogen gas we want to find the number of moles of nitrogen gas okay so if we take a look here we know that one mole of nitrogen gas is going to occupy 22.4 liters of space at STP. So we take a look, we just take 50 divided by 22.4 and we end up with uh, 2.23. Let's just put a decimal right here. Let's make this a decimal and let's make this a decimal right here. That way if we're using the correct number of sig figs here uh, we'll end up with 2.2 2.2 moles of N2 so if you've got 50 liters of a gas at STP in this case nitrogen gas then you've got 2.2 moles of nitrogen gas at STP so this is the molar volume of a gas and I hope you found this helpful